Welcome to our POI tutorial on the Superman. What's up, Flomies? Welcome to the Sacred Flow Art Channel. I'm Jesse Hart of Full Circle Phenomenal, and today is our first video in a new continent. Feeling particularly super today, as also my Portland Timbers are playing at home in the MLS Final. Merry early Christmas. Stoked all around. Be sure to stay to the end of the video to watch the behind the scenes action of how we got here, because no roads get through to this place. In fact, right behind me, a few miles in that direction, is the Darien Gap, which is a stretch of land in between Panama and Colombia, about 60 miles or 100 kilometers, where no roads go through. We're talking about maybe one of the most dangerous, adventurous places in the world right now that very few people set foot in. So grateful for all of your support getting us here, particularly our patrons and our students. Become one by heading over to patreon.com forward slash unite the world firsthand, become a member at sacredflowart.com, or reach out to us directly via the web, social media, WhatsApp, or email. Today we have our first two poi in one hand contact trick. You won't be needing a set of contact poi in order to master this trick as we won't be rolling it around our bodies, more learning about how to bounce and weave it using a special technique. Let's get started. Be sure to get your warm up in. We've got one here on the Sacred Flow Art channel. Link is up here in the cards as well as down in the video description below. Also, if you like full body, breath, mind, and emotional mastery, head over to the Full Circle Phenomenal YouTube channel. We have tons of different free classes there. We're going to get started by just using one poi, as we usually do. We're going to be focusing on the meteor grip today, so get in touch with both sections of the hand, the space in between your ring and pinky finger, as well as in between your index and middle finger, as we're probably getting fairly used to holding it here by now between our index and thumb. You can use this space, but I recommend that you put it here in between the index and middle finger. So putting one poi down and getting used to this position. Now this position going in the forward direction is going to be the weave part. We all know this basic cross point weave. If you haven't gotten familiar with this, check out our video on mastering cross points. Once we're comfortable here, and be sure to do it in both hands, so we're going to be focusing on both hands here, working up someday into being able to do three and four poi at a time. Let's then move into the opposite position in between the pinky and ring finger, and where we're going to be bouncing back and forth from side to side. Now at first it looks like I'm swinging it out like this, right, where I'm bouncing it forwards and to the side. Now actually, the secret ingredient is to pull it across your midsection and get the poi to just throw itself across from side to side. That frees up the capacity to be able to do the weave with the opposite side of the hand. So it looks like this. Notice my hand slides and slides. So I can actually feel the tether pull across my side just a little bit. It's not about forcing it, and we're finding our flow here. And what can really help you to find your flow is breathe with it. Remember to visualize yourself doing it right. And I always suggest practice doing it a couple times, one, two, three, four, a couple times to each side, and then relax. Take a breath, absorb that muscle memory, do it again. One, two, three, four. All right, and then with the opposite hand. One, two, three, four. Until it becomes very easy just to keep going, pull that poi across, pull the poi across. Feel it not swing around as much as slide around your waist. Once you've got it in both hands, let's do it with both poi. Once again, focusing on the meteor grip, what we're going to do is hold on to 
the side that's going to be sliding around your waist. And we're going to actually use the other hand to start by pulling it back and forth while the other hand does the weave to the other side. Getting used to this, keep tension on both ploy, and then just slowly start to release the tension on this hand. Less and less, I'm only holding it with one finger now. Lighter and lighter with that finger so I'm not hooking it. And then I go for one, two, three, four. You'll notice that maybe when you're really focusing on doing it with less energy, that front tether wants to flop. Whichever uh, poi typically you're not giving your conscious awareness to because it's really tricky to have your awareness on both poi at the same time. So usually you got to focus on one thing at a time. Usually the less familiar movement is the key. So the other poi as it weaves is maybe flopping a little bit. That will dissipate in time. Holding with the index and thumb to the index, sliding, pull slide, pull slide, and then I let go. One, two, three, four, and then stop. Let that muscle memory absorb. Go for full poi mastery, ambidexterity, doing the other side here. Same technique, pull, 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 pull. One finger pull, 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 and then release. See if you can flow right past if you hit yourself, as that's also key in flow arts. Don't bring awareness to your mistakes. Flow right past them. And I usually use my whole body, so my whole body's getting into it here. Notice how I'm dipping from side to side. Feels more natural for me, but you'll develop your own style. Once you've got this, see if you can move it quickly into a one-handed two-beat weave. Also provide a card for that that you can get to and practice this one. And then move it back into the Superman. And now we're starting to put the two-point one-hand transitions together. Here's how you get it started from a standstill. I bring both the poi across my body, leading with the weave side of the hand. And as the other side, the pinky side of my hand, comes around, I stick out my hip or my leg and make sure it just hits something as I begin the weave back. That will slow that side down enough, hopefully, for it to land on your side each time. And then you bring the pinky side of your hand close to the body and begin sliding it around your midsection. Make sure it doesn't hit your other arm. And repeating. Once you're able to get it once, it's pretty easy to keep the Superman flowing from then forth. Keep practicing. Baby steps. Consistency is the name of the game. And we'll see you next time. Appreciate your watching and sticking with us. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe, as well as hit the notification bell so you'll know when we release our two new videos on various different props every single week in 4K Ultra HD as we can drive around the entire planet on the Unite the World First Hand global movement. For all of your prop desires, head over to sacredflowart.com forward slash shop and get what you need there. And to see more of our journey, head over to the Full Circle Phenomenal YouTube channel. We'll be putting together an entire short documentary on how we made it from Panama City all the way here to Colombia. Thanks once again so much for watching. See you around the world.